Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this week we're going to talk about uh, enhancements for VLAN membership manipulation. So uh, over the last few versions, 8050, 8060, 8070, we've been adding um, commands to make your life easier. So in the past, if you needed to add a VLAN, uh, or add an interface to a VLAN, basically you had to do those one at a time. You could add multiple VLANs, uh, multiple ports to a VLAN all in one command, but you couldn't add multiple VLANs to an interface or remove multiple VLANs from the interface uh, or add all the VLANs to an interface just with a single command. So that's some of the things that we've added. So let's have a look at, at what's new. So look at my running config here. I have no VLANs on this device other than the default VLAN, right? So all the ports, as always, are in VLAN 1 by default. And so, you know, in the past, if you needed to create a VLAN, we created the VLAN and then you add the interfaces to that VLAN, right? So we could do a tag E112 to, to uh, 1 slash 1 slash 4, for example. Right, um, we could untag e one slash two slash one. Um, so, however, there was no way to add multiple or remove multiple VLANs to an interface. So it had to be done if, if say on on one slash uh, one slash two, I needed to add ten different VLANs. I'd have to go to each one of those VLANs, create the VLANs if they weren't created already, of course and then add them one at a time. So that was a time consuming thing, as well as removing them. If I needed to remove all the VLANs or, or um, I needed to go to each one of those VLANs and do it. And that, that was a, a time consuming process that, uh, that has since been changed. So let's have a look. So now, um, actually before I do that, let me remove VLAN 100 and start over again. Um, so, one of the things we've added is under the interface um, or a range of interfaces. So let me go to an interface, one slash one slash two, for example. So one of the things we've added is this uh, VLAN dash config command. And uh, so under VLAN config, you can add um, interface to a VLAN. You can move an interface to another VLAN. That's an untagged, by the way. Uh, or you can remove the interface from the VLAN. So let's do an add. And here we can say all tagged. We can do a range. So let's try a range. So let's say tagged. Um, and then uh, you could do a single one or we could do a range. So let's say 2, 2, 20. So we have just added, well, 19 VLANs to this interface. And those VLANs did not exist before I ran that command. So the system created the VLAN and then added those, right? So if I do a show run here, we now see all the VLANs created and that interface added to all of those, right? So as simple as that. I could also have done a range. So I could have said, um, you know, VLAN... 21, 23, and then you could do a range, say, 25 to 26. And so, uh, so that just added 21, 23, 25, and 26, all with a single command. So you can either do it with a contiguous range, you could do it one at a time. Those are all uh, valid, right? So had the VLANs existed already, it wouldn't need to have created them. Now the other option is we could do a uh, an all v all tagged right. So if you wanted to add all of the tag VLANs on the system to a to a port, so say it was your uplink port and you wanted to add all of the VLANs, you can do that with a single command. So let me drop over to another interface, interface E one slash one one slash three, and in, under here I could say VLAN dash config add all dash tagged and it has now added all of the tag VLANs on the system to that interface so again show run so we now see one slash two 
and one slash three, uh, one slash one slash three added to each one of those ports. All right. Um, we could also do a remove, for example. So we could do a VLAN dash config uh, remove. And again, you can remove all of the VLANs from the physical port, uh, or you could do a list. So we could do VLAN. So let's say we only wanted to remove um, VLAN, you know, one to five off of interface one slash one slash three. So I could do VLAN one to five. It removed those. So now if I look in the show run, one slash one slash three is gone from the first five VLANs, uh, but still exists on all the others from six on. All right. Um, the move command, on the other hand, allows you to move an untagged interface. Now, that is not uh, the case if it's in the default VLAN, right? Um, so let me pick up an interface. Um, we'll go to interface, actually, sorry. We'll go to VLAN 2 and we'll untag E1 slash 1 slash 12. Okay, so it's added uh, uh, VLAN 2 to 1, uh, 1 slash 1 slash 12. Uh, or vice versa, depending on when, how you want to look at that. Um, so we can move that, right? So in the past, you'd have to go to um, go to VLAN 2, do a no untag E1 slash 1 slash 12, and then go to the VLAN you're going to move it to and do an untag E1 slash 1 slash 12. So now we can move it with a single command. So from the, from the interface itself, interface E1 slash 1 slash 12, we can do it vlan dash config move untagged now it doesn't let you move tagged right because you can have multiple um, so we'll move, we'll move it and where do we want to move it to so let's move it to vlan 3 okay so it now says that it added uh, untagged port 1 slash 1 slash 12 to vlan 3 now I could do multiple ports at the same time you could do a port range for uh, for most of these um, but in this case, I just did one. So now, if I do a show run again, there is um, 1 slash 1 slash 12 untagged on VLAN 3. And it was, if we looked a minute ago, it would have been on VLAN 2. However, if this was in the default VLAN, then it wouldn't let you use the move command because it's not a move. It's just, you know, you would have gone to VLAN 3 and done an untaggy 1 slash 1 slash 12, and it would have put it it taken it out of the default VLAN and put it into uh, VLAN 3. So, um, okay, so that's that. So that's the VLAN config command under the interface. Uh, now, let's see what we have new under the VLAN. So if we go, let me go back into config. If we go to a VLAN, for example, or a range of VLANs, um, let's say VLAN, I don't know, 100. So under here, we have a couple of new commands that were added a few revs back. So one of them is remove tag ports, and it removes all the tag ports from the VLAN, and remove untag ports. Uh, so it will it will um, remove all the tag ports from the from the from that VLAN. So um, actually, I'll drop over to one that has some ports in it. So VLAN six. So at this point, I could do a remove dash tagged. And then there's no option on this, right? It's going to remove all the tag VLANs from VLAN 6. So when I do that, no ports remaining in VLAN 6. So if I do a show run, we see VLAN 6 still exists here, but it no longer has any ports in it, right? Because we've removed all the tagged interfaces. We could also do uh, remove untagged. So if we go to VLAN 3, for example, that has a an untagged interface in it, uh, now we can do a remove dash untagged, and it should remove the untagged VLAN. So there we go. So that that is now removed from VLAN 3. So um, helpful command. If you've got a lot of tag ports or a lot of untagged ports on a VLAN, that's going to save you a lot of time. Um, um, 
you can also do a VLAN range, for example. So we could have done VLAN uh, 1 to 5 here. Uh, then, you know, done the remove dash tagged. So then it's going to remove, uh, remove the ports from the appropriate VLAN. So in the show run, we now have no ports remaining in my VLANs here. VLAN 1 still has untagged ports in it, of course, because it's the default VLAN. Uh, but the, but there's no tag ports in any of those interfaces, in any of those VLANs, excuse me. Um. And again, with a range, with a VLAN range, it can be a contiguous range, but it could have also been a, you know, VLAN 5, VLAN 7, uh, VLAN, you know, 9 to 11. So you could have done a range that way. And you'll see the prompt change. So it's, it's showing you, instead of a hyphen, it's showing you an asterisk here, which means that they're not uh, necessarily contiguous within that range. And then we could have done the same things within there. All right, so that's about it. Um, so VLAN config, uh, add, remove, move under the interface or a range of interfaces and VLAN remove tag ports or VLAN uh, remove untag ports under a particular VLAN uh, or under a range of VLANs. So trying to make your life a little bit easier uh, when you're working with multiple VLANs and or uh, multiple interfaces. All right, so that's it for today. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.